I think what really great education can do is make people feel less alone. That's basically what it is. Like you're, you're imparting to them that we're all doing this same exact thing together. We're just doing it from a different space, but you are completely not alone and we're all trying to do this at the same time. I think that's the piece that, it's the mind and spirit thing, right? So it's like, we're trying to nurture the minds of these clinicians because that's super important, but we're also trying to nurture the spirit of those clinicians. And so not only if you have your spirit, you know, sort of uh, trampled upon, are you gonna burn out and not be able to do the mind part, but if you've got your spirit sort of taken care of for nurturing that part of you as well and you're doing it, then you're gonna do that mind part better. I think education is the, the foundation of that pyramid. So you know, like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? The foundation of the physician hierarchy of needs is education. If you have broken pieces and you're not confident that you're doing a good job to take care of those patients, you're, everything else is screwed. You're, you're effed everywhere else. But if you have that, that foundation and you've got something that, some great education that's actually making you, solidifying your foundation over and over, you can build on that to make you a better person and a better this and a better that, which makes you, again, take better care of those patients. I think that's the whole entire point of it. So we're trying to help with that foundation and help with the rest of it, but the foundation of education is probably the most important thing you could do for a, for a clinician. You know?